Why, hello, people of Earth. I realized for about uh, seven minutes I have not been recording, so now I am. Uh, bu -bu -bu -bu. So, there is a SpongeBob anime. You heard me right. It's like the con not consolation prize. It's the prize that not the prize. It's the little inkling of happiness that we get from 2020 because we've been we've been giving so as a world, not just the US, as a world, uh 2020 hates us. 2020 does not like humankind. It doesn't like us. It doesn't like us. And you know, there's just been so many things, worldwide, nationwide, it, it's insane, right? And the Spongebob anime was the little bit of happiness that we get this year. It's the little, it's like the one thing I can say, that was a good thing, okay? It's the only thing, <laughs> it's a good thing. Anyway, so the Spongebob anime, we need to talk about it, we need to, we need to. We need to talk about it. We we have to talk about it. It was put on the channel Narmac and the SpongeBob anime is a YouTube anime series off, based off of SpongeBob if you couldn't tell by the title and it's on Narmac's channel. Highly recommend you go check it out in the description, okay? Because it's so good. The quality, the quality of this anime is so good. Also, I'm wearing a shirt. I know it's not the official merch, but even the merch ad in the episode was top tier quality. I didn't mind watching some of it. I did skip part of it, but whatever. It's an, it's an ad for the merch, and I don't I don't have that coin right now, but. Regardless, the part that I did watch, high, high quality, high, high quality. So, the episode is from the audio to the animation to the voices to everything is top tier quality, top tier. You could put this in a movie theater, like if, um, I assume there's going to be more episodes. If you added all of the episodes together and you had like a Spongebob movie or something, and you put it in a theater, I would be like, oh, what studio made that? And damn, Narmak, bruh, I don't know your name, but damn, damn. <laughs> this was a production. So many people were involved in it, and oh my god, it did take a couple of years to make, but that's how animation is. And quality animation takes time. Like, Frozen 2 took, like, six years, okay? And we got this in two. I think I think it's well worth the wait. Well worth the, the wait. Not Frozen 2. Frozen 2 was trash. But this, the, the SpongeBob anime, worth the wait, okay? Because it has been in the development for a couple of years. And I saw, I don't know how, but I stumbled upon the trailer. And I subscribed because I saw the trailer, and I'm like, okay, all right, Spongebob anime, let's go. And uh, when I saw this come up in my feed, I was, I was so excited. I was so excited. And now we need to talk about the theme song. The theme song. It is a work of art. The whole thing's a work of art, but the theme song is like, for me, that was the best part, because <laughs> usually when I watch an anime, because I do watch anime, um, sorry if that's weird, but like, I, I don't care, I, I really do like anime, it has its problems, but we're not talking about that today. I usually skip over the theme song. I watch it once so I know what it is, and then whenever it comes up, I skip past it. And this, I won't be doing that with the SpongeBob anime because the theme song, Double Chef's Kiss. Double Chef's Kiss. It is so magical. Insert clips here. <laughs> I'm 
so happy. Wait. Ah! What? It, it's magical. It's legitimately magical, okay? It's... Bro. <laughs> Gary singing, and then just the, the song in... The song is so good, and the animation is so good. Like, the little hints that we're gonna get about what's coming up. What this season... Season? What this... What these episodes in the future are going to hold. It was amazing. It was amazing. Okay? I like the song. I really- I, I actually like the song. I like the song. When it comes to anime theme songs, I usually don't like the song. I liked Yuri on Ice. I liked that theme song, but usually it's kind of a nuisance to watch the theme song. Not for this anime. Not for this anime. Okay? And one thing that we have to discuss is the fact that Sandy and Spongebob kiss. There's gonna be a romance between <laughs> Spongebob and Sandy. I ship it. I ship it. We all ship it. If you don't ship it, what's wrong with you? I bet if you don't ship Sandy and Spongebob, you probably ship Spongebob and Squidward. Let's be real. Let's be real. Um, because Nickelodeon said he's part, part of LGBTQ, you know, so, I mean, I mean, love triangle? <laughs> Who? But, anyway, I'm getting ahead of myself. I just, I freaked out. I freaked out, okay? Insert clip here. <laughs> ah! What? I freaked out when I realized, when I saw that. Um... It's more of a live reenactment because I watched I watched the episode like by myself and then I was like I rewatched the theme song <laughs> today. <laughs> so it's gonna be coming out in a dub because this was subbed. And here's the thing, I do not watch sub. I just don't. The only subbed f film or show that I've watched, the the only dubbed piece of media I've ever watched was Parasite because it's Parasite and I wanted to watch it and I forgot that I was reading like halfway through so I did whatever it was Parasite so I, ma I made an exception so I but I usually watch dub for anime and the dub is coming soon however I had to watch this I had to watch this I will read it's summer but I will read the captions in English, whatever they're called, so I can experience the Spongebob anime. And honestly, I don't mind. I don't mind. The voice actor, actors, actresses, high quality, high quality voice actressing, voice actoring, whatever. High quality, okay? Oh my god. I did not, I, the fact that you got me to watch, a. Uh, sub of an anime that just says it all that says it all and the dub is coming out i will watch that again because spongebob anime um so in this episode what happens you're probably seeing there we're gonna talk about it we're, we're, we're getting there okay so spongebob comes into the it's been so long since i've sent since i've seen actual Spongebob episodes. He comes into the... Shoot, what's it called? I'm such a fake fan. I saw Spongebob Squarepants so long ago that, like, I love the show. It's just, it's been a minute. The Krusty Krab! He, that, that took way too long. Um, Spongebob comes into the Krusty Krab and he sees, um, Squidward's not there. And what's his face? Oh, I forget everyone's names. Um, the red crab dude, who's really cheap. What's he called? Mr. Krabs. Mr. Krabs. Sorry, Mr. Crab. <laughs> SpongeBob comes into the Krusty Krab, talks to Mr. Krabs, and is and is like, "Hey, what's like the, the 
So apparently, Mr. Krabs fills Nimmin's like, look, someone, um, the, the bass dude, Bubble Bass, he, like, stole the formula, and Squidward went to go get it before Bubble Bass crosses, um, the jellyfish fields. And, um, SpongeBob's like, whoa, what? And he goes, <laughs> and he, and he goes to go find Squidward, and then he sees, like, the whole team, and Sandy and, um, Patrick are there, and Spongebob's talking to them, like, why did you let him go fight, and Sandy's like, he didn't want us to come with him, and Squid, um, Squidward, a Spongebob says, like, that's not a good enough excuse, my dudes, and so he goes, and he thinks that Squidward's dead, and then that, like, fuels him up, and he, like, goes all berserk on Bubble Bass, and then we get a fight scene with Spongebob, like, just cutting, like, beheading Bubble Bass, like, what? Um, Spongebob went from being, like, G or whatever to being, like, PG-13. It was amazing. It was amazing. And so he mm, butchers Bubble Bass, and then he comes back to Squidward, and Squidward's, you know, he's fine, he's not dead, he just kind of passed out for a couple seconds, and they kind of have this little joke, and then Spongebob fawns over Squidward because, you know, that's, that's part of the series that uh, this anime is based on, you know, um, in Spongebob Squarepants on Nickelodeon or whatever, you know, Spongebob was, like, obsessed with Squidward or would, like, act as if Squidward's, like, a huge celebrity sometimes. You know what I mean. All the people who watched Spongebob as a kid, they know what I mean. If you haven't, get on it. Get on it. Get on it. Um. Anyway, things to discuss about the future. That was the plot of this first episode. What, what do we need to talk about for the future? For the future, okay? Future episodes, what do we think is going to happen? I don't know. Leave your, um, words, 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 your predictions down below, okay? I think that, words, I'm having such a hard time today. I couldn't even remember. Mr. Krabs is <laughs> I called him the red crab. That's cheap. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm a mess. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Leave your predictions down below of what you think's gonna happen after you've seen the episode. Okay? I think, you know, we haven't been introduced to Plankton yet. Where's Plankton? Because, you know, out of all the villains that the team, Sandy, Spongebob, Patrick, and Squidward, and I guess Mr. Krabs, he's more of like, he's there, but I don't think he's like a, a part of the team, like the main four. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? We haven't been introduced to Plankton, right? And that's going to be interesting. We haven't seen Plankton, like, you know, talking to our little cast, right? And I, I want to know. I want to see it. I want to see it. I also want to see this arc of Sandy and Spongebob, like, getting together. Like, I want to see that develop. Because, you know, there was this episode, and it was, like, it was basically a fight scene. And it was kind of, you know, um, introducing some of the dynamics between the characters, and it was kind of just like, look, Spongebob anime. So, but we don't really know, like, their day-to-day. -day. We don't really know, like, what kind of anime this is. It looks like it's going to be, like, a JoJo type of anime. Fairy tale ish More leaning towards JoJo, it looks like. I don't know, will it just be, like, Will it be like JoJo where it's like there's a fight in every episode? Or are we going to get slices of life? Because I want to see the Krusty Krab full of people. And I want to see like Spongebob 
in anime form, in an anime animation, you know what I mean, making Krabby Patties. I want to see him having, like, deep life conversations with Sandy. <laughs> I want to see, I want to see Squidward in his anime ness taking orders at the cash register. I want to see, like, I want to see that. Is it gonna be like SpongeBob SquarePants, the like the right reg, like the regular show, like regular show, the past version, the non-anime? Is the non-anime version of SpongeBob gonna be like the anime version that we see now? I don't think so. I think this is gonna. It's obviously anime, and there's certain things in anime as a genre of media that happen that don't happen in like, other forms of animation, you know? So, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to expect. I'm not going to try to expect anything because I don't want to, like, be let down. I'm honestly just excited to see what happens. I'm just kind of, I'm kind of on the edge of my seat. I'm on the edge of my seat and I I'm excited. I'm excited for what's gonna happen. I'm excited for new episodes. Let me know what you thought of it. Let me know what you think's gonna happen. Let me know what you're excited for. Let me know what you're you you're scared for. Um let me know in the comments. Please subscribe. These are my thoughts on the SpongeBob anime. I know I was I was very like annoying in this video because I was like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, and that's just because I'm excited. I'm just an excited kid, um, even though I'm not a kid, but I feel like a kid in this video. But anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. Please check it out. If you have extra coin, you know, buy the merch for <laughs> the Spongebob anime. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!